Good morning. This is No Pain, No Game Financial Radio. I'm your host, Ryan Payne, president of Pain Capital Management, along with our chief investment officer, the man with the plan, and yes, is my dad, Big Bob Payne. Good morning, Dad. What's shaking on this glorious, glorious March weekend? Well, I'm not shaking anymore, Ryan. I got out of that show Friday night up in New York. It was 20 degrees, and I was shaking in my boots. <laughs> Well, it's nice to give you a nice dose of reality. You know, us not living in Naples, we have real weather to contend with, Bob. So, uh, yeah. Oh, what do you mean? I brought <laughs> you up some nice spring-like weather. The sun was shining. It was beautiful on the weekend, other than that Friday night, which was 20 degrees. That's right. It's been all over the place this winter, but it's been a pretty mild winter, so it hasn't been the worst. But nothing beats 80 degrees in Naples every day. As we like to say on the show, it's good to be Bob. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I can't argue with you, son. I'm sorry. I can't argue with you. Well, <laughs> good, good. Well, we've got a great show for you this morning to help you on your path to financial freedom. We're going to talk about five major money mistakes. We're going to break down and tell you how to avoid the biggest missteps that slowly wreck your retirement. We're going to talk about the new SECURE Act. It's one of the most significant pieces of retirement legislation in more than a decade. The SECURE Act makes it easier for you to save for retirement. Bob and I are going to discuss some of the benefits you need to be taking advantage of this year, along with this week's financial propaganda. That's where we call it the best advice, worst advice the financial media has recently been broadcasting. And on our spotlight segment today, we have financial advisor, my brother, Bob's son, Chris Payne. It's going to be an all-pain morning. Uh, he's going to review and break someone's real retirement plan down for you. So let's get to it. We've got a lot of great stuff to talk about. You know, Bob, money mistakes are kind of like termites in your house, right? They work quietly behind the scenes, gnawing away at your wealth. Let's discuss the five major money mistakes you must avoid to make sure you're not headed in the wrong direction for retirement. And I would say that first one is, and it's kind of scary when you think about it, is most of us don't have a plan, which is just ridiculous. Yeah, right. I think flying blind is the number one mistake people make. You know, I, I don't know if I ever told you this or not, but I really do enjoy playing golf. <laughs> I'm shocked. It's not like you're ever on the golf course, ever. You're always Well, working. you know, I'm playing, I'm playing really well this year, but nonetheless, I went to see the local pro and I took a lesson and he videoed my swing. And I'll tell you what, my swing is awful. I look terrible. But I would think after all these years of golf, you know, how many times a week you play, you'd have the best, you'd have like a Tiger Woods golf swing by now. Well, see, that's the thing, right? When you're flying blind, you know, you think you're running your money properly. You think, ah, it's good enough. Well, it's not good enough. You know, it's like sometimes you can be a lot better. You don't know the mistakes you're making. You know, the problem was I didn't know what I was doing wrong. It felt good. You know, I got this old body now. It doesn't turn very well, but it feels like I am. When they put the videotape on there, my goodness gracious, I'm so glad I want to see you. I'm getting help and everybody should get help with their financial planning. So what you're trying to say is you looked a lot less like Tiger Woods than you thought in your mind. <laughs> That's yeah. what you're, I, I look more like a, a, a kitten than, than yeah. Tiger, I'm telling you. The scary statistic here is, I mean, 30% of U.S. retirees say they don't have the same standard of living in retirement that they do when they're working. And that can really be avoided. I mean, a little bit of planning goes a long way, just starting to project out what you're going to need. Because what we found is you either need the same amount of money in retirement, if not more, and that's something you definitely have to plan for. Yeah, no, right. It's not just about an investment plan, right? It's a, a savings plan. It's an asset allocation plan. It's a social security claiming plan. It's a required minimum distribution plan. It's a how to invest in the bond market plan. There's so many little things that if you don't take care of now, weeks turn into months, months turn into years. And next thing you know, you missed out on all those compounding opportunities. And there's no reason for anyone not to live great in retirement. Yeah, and that's when you can start to, to look at what I would call the pro moves that you can make or the nuances when it comes to your plan. Because I think the last thing is when you come home from work at night is you want to start plotting out those spreadsheets and start really thinking about your financial life. That just sounds depressing. And some of the pro moves I think about that are like right now, you could refinance your mortgage. Interest rates are down at like the lowest levels they've ever been in US history. What a great pro move to be making. Yeah, I mean, when you have and when you have a lot of fear in the markets, there's opportunities get cre get created, but the media has you so focused on the fear that you miss out. And look at mortgage rates, right? I mean, if you have a mortgage right now, you don't. Have, you know, I mean, you should just pull over, call your mortgage broker, and refinance right now. Don't miss the opportunity. 
And that's where it's nice to have someone to let you know these are the things you should be doing, right? They're the pro moves. You shouldn't have to be thinking about these things all the time. I mean, right now, a 15-year mortgage is at 2.9%. I mean, man, that is cheap money. <laughs> that really <laughs> that is. is. And the thing is, you just don't know what you don't know. I mean, you know, you want to sit there and read all day long like we do and be on top of everything. That's fine. But, you know, like my buddy tells me all the time, he said, I have you run all my money because, you know, you want to get in the printing business, you know, go ahead. I'll go head to head with you. I'll, I'll eat your lunch. But he goes, I don't want to go head to head with professionals when it comes to running my money. I want to go play golf, stay retired, enjoy life. Let you work. You know, that's the whole idea. <laughs> so you, know, you want to have nice. you want to have a pro who's looking out for you, who thinks about you as a fiduciary, who has your best interest at heart. Which brings me to the next big mistake, Bob, that we make is a lot of times we think we can work forever. We talk about this a lot. And when we think we've worked forever, we think we don't have to worry about a retirement plan. But a lot of times it's not your decision if you keep working or not. What if you get downsized? What if you have some sort of medical condition? There's so many things that can happen that you need to plan for. Yeah, we hear that all the time, right? You know, if you find work that's your hobby, right, that you enjoy so much, then you'll never work a day in your life. And we've had plenty of clients my age, you know, baby boomers who assumed, you know, that they love what they did. They could just mail it in, you know, use muscle memory and, uh, you know, work part time and continue to work. But their health prevented that. The company got sold. All of a sudden, companies don't value 65 year olds like they do 40 year olds. And it's very disappointing. But, you know, you can't, you know, hey, if you want to work forever, that's great. But, you know, don't make that part of your financial plan because that's a big mistake. Well, I think it's all about you need to have a contingency plan, right? And yeah. I don't, you don't, don't call it a retirement plan. If that rubs you the wrong way, don't do it. Call it your financial freedom plan, but I think also call it your contingency plan. If this doesn't work out, plan B is in place. That's what it's really about. And this is something you need to have in place or you're going to put yourself in a very, very compromised mm -hmm. position if God forbid you can't work anymore. Yeah, and I don't want everybody to be like me where they have a son who assumes that he has to work forever. You have to have a <laughs> contingency plan. <laughs> this applies to everyone but you, Bob, because obviously okay. <laughs> you have to work forever, but no pressure. The other thing is too, again, you know, mistakes that you can make is just not saving enough. If you're down in that yeah. financial red zone between now and retirement could be anywhere from five to 10 years away. Are you putting enough away? These are critical years. These are typically the years where you're making the most and allocating that capital correctly and making sure that you're putting enough away is big because retirement can last a very long time. It really can. And, and, you know, the government keeps changing the rules. So you want to make sure that you're always maximizing your opportunities and not missing opportunities. So you know, be certain that you're putting them up in your 401k, that you're getting the matches. Or, you know, if you have your own business, you know, we set up a lot of pensions and profit sharing plans for people where they're putting tons of money away. You know, things that you just would never know flying blind on your own. You've got to put money away where it's tax advantageous, right? Exactly right. So it's all about those pro moves, Bob. And if you're thinking to yourself right now, I need to tweak my retirement. I want those pro moves to make sure that I'm on track. I can be financially independent. Here's a shot to do it. If you're one of the next 10 callers, you have over $500,000 saved for retirement. Myself and Bob will run for you. Our total financial master plan, and we're going to do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review where we look at the big picture and look at everything. All you need to do is bring those statements in, bring them in for February. They might already be in by now. Put them in a folder, bring them in the office. We're going to take all the data from all your different investments and we're going to build for you your own personalized financial portal where you can view your entire net worth and we can start to look at all those critical components. We're going to look at all the pro moves you need to be thinking about. We're going to look at income. Income is so much more reliable than the ups and downs of the market in retirement. Do you have an income plan? We're going to show you how to optimize or increase the income on your portfolio, fill in that income gap so you have a stream of income that you cannot live. We're going to look at diversification. What hidden risks do you have in your portfolio? When you have the coronavirus, you have big sell-offs in the market, are you protected? We're going to show you where all the hidden risks are in your portfolio, show you how to bulletproof your portfolio for retirement, and we're going to look at fees and taxes. Yes, there's a lot of hidden costs in your portfolio. You probably don't know you're paying in those annuities, mutual funds, brokerage products. We're going to show you where all the hidden costs are, show you how to reduce costs, and then optimize your portfolio for taxes so there's more money in your pocket for retirement. Then we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan and determine the most critical question. Are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you utilizing strategies now our family has literally worked on for over 45 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk 
and the highest odds of success. All you have to do is text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or you just simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. If you're one of our next 10 callers, you've saved over 500000 for your retirement. My son, Ryan, and I will create for you your own total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation. There's no cost. But there won't be a plan unless somebody texts their call right now, 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or you simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. Hey, this is Bob Payne, and I'm hanging out with my son today, Rye Payne, because we're the pains of no pain, no gain, financial radio. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, no pain, no gain financial radio. And of course, that's P-A-Y-N-E. And Bob and I, as you know, every week try to give you the most common sense, practical advice for your investing and your planning. And that's why we put together our latest guide. We give you five ways to save on taxes in 2020. And we give you all the highlights of the new Secure Act. There's a lot of new ways for you to optimize your portfolio for taxes. We give you five simple ways to do it. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish. That's bullish, B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. That's the word bullish at 555-888. Tax time is just around the corner. There's some things you can still do to save on taxes. You can download our new tax doc for free. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish, the 555-888. And speaking of taxes, Bob, I thought we could talk about the new Setting Every Community Up for Retirement Enhancement Act. Say that three times fast. (laughs) Or we'll just call it the new Secure Act, which has been in place now for about two months. I thought it'd be valuable again to discuss some of the new tax benefits so our listeners can benefit from some of these new tax benefits, you know, as we're getting into tax season right now. And the first one, which is a really big one, is you had to take money out of your retirement accounts for most in most cases at 70 and a half. Now that's moved back to age 72, which is a huge opportunity for planning. It really is, right? Because you know, when I started running wealth projections way back in the day, as they say, in the 70s and 80s. It made a huge difference on your financial planning if you were able to let your money compound for an extra year or two. And here again, this is just great news for any baby boomer who is thinking, oh, I got to take money out this year. They got another two years before they have to start taking money out of their retirement plans. Yeah. The other thing too is it's two more years. You can do what we call, again, Bob, some of our pro planning moves. So for a lot of us, you might be in a lower tax bracket when you stop working. It's a good time to convert some of your retirement money into what we would call Roth IRA, where that money can grow tax-free forever. And now the window just got a lot bigger. So you know, getting some tax-free income for your heirs and for yourself is a huge opportunity. So that's another planning tool you can use around this new tax rule. Yeah, I love that idea, right? Tax-free forever. Yeah, that's such a great deal. You know, they don't get that too often from the IRS. Well, the other thing too is at 70 and a half, even though you don't have to take distributions, you can still make charitable contributions out of your IRA at that point, which you get a nice tax deduction for, which you're limited on now if you just take your, if you make your charitable contributions out of your regular savings account. Again, another pro move, right? Understanding the tax code, like making, you know, contributions like you did before, whether it's material or you wrote a check to a charity, not as deductible as taking that money from your IRA. But of course, you do have to be seven and a half to do that, right? No, exactly right. But that's still a year and a half earlier than you have to start taking your distribution. So it's important to know that, especially for deductions this year. Well, the other thing too is if you're working past age 70 now, you can still contribute to your retirement plan or your IRA. So there's ways to get deductions a lot later than you were just a year ago. You know, Ryan, I get that point. I get that question almost every day. And a lot of, you know, some of our clients are pretty wealthy and they're like, Bob, is it worth it? I'm like, worth it? I mean, it's a no brainer, right? You're putting money into a tax deferred 
penalty free checking account, right? So if you don't need the money, you get the tax deduction. If you need the money, you can pull it out without penalty, but then you have to pay some tax. But what a great deal, huh, right? I couldn't agree with you more, Bob. And another thing, Bob, is it's now easier and cheaper for small employers to offer retirement plans. So if you have a small business, you're self-employed right now, and again, you're down to that home stretch for retirement, you have five to 10 years, great time to set up a retirement plan. And there's a lot more flexibility uh, in terms of how you can build those things. Yeah, I could agree more, right? I think with every financial plan we've ever run, you know, Social Security is a big part of it, right? It pays a big part of your your recurring income that comes into your checking account every month. But having a retirement plan, right? Having the ability to put as much as possible away makes a big difference in your financial plan. And now you can even, if you're part-time, you can even contribute. Yes, you find that out. So if you're working part-time right now, your employer may be able to offer something where they weren't offering it before. So a lot of great things going on in the retirement space and you got to see what you're eligible for. The other big thing is, Bob, now when your heirs inherit your retirement assets, they used to be able to inherit and take those retirement plans or IRAs over their lifetime. But now that's been truncated into a 10-year window, which could be a huge tax liability. That's why, again, planning right now is so critical around that because you could be leaving your kids with a ticking tax time bomb. And who wants to do that, Bob? Well, you know, it's uh, again, it's it, back in the 70s. I remember when I started in the industry, I used to recommend these ideas and people are in a high tax bracket say, well, Bob, this works out like you'd say. I'll make a lot of money, but I got to pay a lot of tax. So I don't want to do it. So it's like, you know, what? You get to keep the rest. So, you know, I don't <laughs> think any heirs are going to say, well, you know, I don't really want that IRA because I got to distribute it over 10 years because I got to pay tax. You're going to keep a lot. You know, it's still a good deal. It is. But again, here's another opportunity for planning. If you can start to convert right. some of your retirement plans now into things like Roth IRAs, where they can take that 10-year amount tax-free, as opposed to having a big tax bill over a 10-year period, is a great proactive move. More than ever, IRA planning is more critical than ever, because we talk about this all the time. But your IRAs, are ticking tax time bombs, but it doesn't have to be that way if you're proactive about it. Yeah, you know, Rye, they're very complex, more than anybody really believes. And I think all of your points make so much sense. And it's not going to get any different. I mean, it's like, I think, isn't the sole reason we have people in Washington, D.C. is to make changes to the tax law to keep your accountant, your attorney, and your financial advisor fully employed? <laughs> so I guess we should be grateful for all the new uh, tax laws that came into place at the end of last year, Bob, is what you're trying to say. Yes, I think so, Rob. But I think our clients will be grateful and you'll be grateful if you take advantage of working with you know somebody who's a professional who can make these pro moves for you. If you're thinking to yourself right now, I need to be financially healthy. I need to take full advantage of all the deductibility. I need to be tax efficient. I need to have tax efficient strategies in my portfolio. Well, here's your chance. If you're one of our next eight callers and you've saved at least 500000 for retirement, Ryan and I will create for you your own total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation. There's no cost. But if you're one of the next few callers, we're going to create for you your own 360 financial portal. Think about it. Financial GPS. It's like the one you have in your car, which will tell you where you are and map out where you're going and report daily on the progress to your journey to financial independence. It'll define your financial timeline and the best, most efficient route to achieving your goals. It will put your financial life on autopilot and help you to avoid those financial potholes that you find with these cookie cutter plans that brokerage firms, you know, tout to their clients every once in a while. It will also update your net worth on a daily basis and monitor your progress towards the great goals of life. So you'll always know where you are, more importantly, where you're going. In addition, all we need you to do is grab all those statements that just came in, stick them in a shopping bag, put them in a folder, give us a call, because we're going to break all that complex information to make sure you don't have a collection of investments. Be certain that you have what we call the three key elements of a successful strategy. True diversification to make sure that you're diversified across asset classes within asset classes. So, for example, when you have a big down week like we just had, your portfolio can absorb that type of drop and have an opportunity to take advantage of it. We're going to look at your cost. You know, my son talks about these hidden fees all the time. They're not hidden to us. We have x-ray vision. We can see your statement, tell you exactly, you know, where you're getting hammered by your advisor and where you're not getting the cost efficiency that you deserve. We're going to help you to reduce those costs. And most importantly, we're going to look at your income and be certain that you can fill that gap once you retire. You know, we all need to fill that income gap once we retire. And if you are retired right now, your number one goal 
listen to me carefully, is to stay retired. And that requires a dependable, repeatable income stream. And lastly, we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan where we'll answer that age old question. Are you going to outlive your money or is your money going to outlive you utilizing strategies that my family's been perfecting now for almost four decades? Can you believe it? For 45 years, we've been helping families just like yours get from your financial point A to your goals, to your dreams, with your values, with the least amount of risk, and only the certainty that a fiduciary who has your best interest in heart can achieve. So don't waste time. Give us a call or text at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next eight callers, you have over $500,000 saved for retirement. We have eight slots left at 844-752-6692. That's call or text at 844-752-6692. Here's your shot. Don't you want to make sure you're on track for retirement? Find out for sure at 844-752-6692. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN. NYC. This is no pain, no gain. Financial Radio. It's time for Financial Propaganda of the Week. This is where Bob and I scour the daily financial news, call it the biggest offenders of offering obscene and profane financial guidance to help you protect yourself from making any ill-advised financial decisions. Bob, like I said, you and I read virtually everything every week. We throw those articles back and forth. You know, what were some of the ones that really stood out to you this week that were just so egregious you had to talk about it on today's financial propaganda? Well, Rob, we definitely have to talk about the coronavirus because it's been making headlines, you know, for the last couple of weeks. It's on the national news. It's on every news wire. And you know what? This is really not something new. In the last 25 years, just to remind everyone, you know, we've had the mad cow disease, we had SARS in 2002, we had the bird flu, then we had the fl- swine flu, then we had Ebola, and then we had Zika, and now we have COVID-19, al- also known as you know, the coronavirus. And this, here's the thing that really blew my mind when I read this article, the cumulative right. death toll, you know, over 25 years from all these infectious pandemics doesn't even add up to one season of the regular flu that we suffer in, this, in the world every year. Yeah, I mean, I think I, I went to my doctor's this past week and he said something along the lines of 60,000 deaths per year from influenza just in the U.S. And keep in mind, we've had zero deaths from the coronavirus here in the U- United States, not to you know, discount the scariness of any sort of outbreak. But you're right, as a relative basis to things we've seen historically, it's really not any more dramatic than what we've seen in the past. So why are people so fearful, right? Well, the big thing is, it's about supply chains, right? It's when the world stops moving for a couple of weeks temporarily and China being one of the biggest markets in the world for growth has come to a standstill. They have 60 million people right now, Bob, in quarantine. You start to worry about productivity. But at the end of the day, that's something temporary. It's not something that's going to happen in perpetuity. Yeah. See, see, you're a professional and you're making absolute sense right now. You're promoting common argue. sense. But you know, this is what financial propaganda is about because Believe it or not, Rye, there are actually people out there promoting fear, not for your best interest, but to promote their own self-interest. <laughs> Hold the press, Bob. Really? I'm shocked. I, mean, I really? never feel that when I watch the news that they're fear-mongering at all. It, it, it just never crossed my mind. Well, you know, according to this article, the central actors of these fear pandemic panderers are people who are attention seekers, right? There are people who, you know, that work in academia and in relatively obscurity, trying to make a name for themselves by making outrageous claims about things that, uh, you know, that nobody has any idea whether they're going to come true. Or you've got the 24-7 news cycle. They're just looking for content. And again, fear sells. And you know what the biggest problem is today, Rye? The internet. Exactly. The internet loves to perpetuate fear. But actually, my client sent me an article this week some of the world's biggest economies are on the brink of recession was the fear headline. And obviously this ties into the coronavirus. But let's be honest, the biggest world's economies have been on the brink of recession now for like two years. <laughs> it's not new this is news. true, but you know, we only have ourselves to blame because, you know, we're just normal, rational human beings. And, you know, it's like uh, if everybody in the herd is getting excited and fearful, we're thinking, hey, if I don't get fearful, I'm the one that's going to get eaten. 
So I guess, uh, you know, it's kind of like it plays on our our history of being human beings. But the fact of the matter is you're not getting really good information from the media. No, you're not. And I think the one thing you also want to glean from the fact that we're having this outbreak. And if you look at them historically, typically, eventually, the outbreak's contained. That does go away or that problem goes away. And then whatever the trend was before the outbreak is what continues. And the one thing we know before this corona outbreak is if you look at the global economy, not just the U.S., the rest of the world was starting to pick up in terms of growth again. Things were actually getting better, not to mention all the tariffs that just went away between the trade deal between the U.S. and China. So if any, if history repeats, then all economies around the world are going to pick up steam again at some point, probably later this year. No, it couldn't be more true, Rye. But that's the thing. It's like I had a, a very good client call me the other day, and his wife plays bridge, and uh, called me up to report that all the bridge players are selling today. You know, I said, uh, <laughs> wait a minute, the market was at a record high last week, and we yeah. have two down days, and they're selling everything? Everything. I said, does that sound sane to you? He I said, no, like it doesn't. I just want to let you know. I like that economic indicator. You know, I, I use the, the bridge club sentiment indicator <laughs> to make my trade decisions. If the bridge club is bullish, then I want to put money in the market. If they're bearish, we should take money out of the market because clearly who has better information than all the gossip going on at a bridge competition? And that's the other thing. When we're working with you and your financial planning and we're working with your portfolio, we're building portfolios for a lifetime. You know, we're not traders. I mean, all this stuff is for traders who can jump in and out of the market. I don't hear anybody exclaiming, oh, my goodness, my municipal bond portfolio is at an all time record high on national TV, which is what's happening with with all of you who have well planned, great portfolios. And, you know, the only thing that you want to take advantage of when there's fear and volatility is look at the buying opportunities. Make sure you're positioned properly. And if you are, sit back and relax. Well, I'll tell you the other thing too is the one thing that has not changed, even with all this fear and the volatility in the market, is cash flow. And we talk about this all the time. As you're getting close to retirement and you're retired, it's all about cash flow. And the one thing no one's talking about is dividend yields keep going up. So if you own a diversified portfolio, whatever you've been receiving in cash flow, never mind what's going on with the coronavirus, is going higher this year, not lower. And to me, that's an awesome opportunity that you don't want to miss out on, especially if you're building a portfolio for income for retirement. No brainer. No brainer, Ryan. The thing is, it's a, and that's the key to a well-diversified portfolio. I had a client last week just decide to buy a beach home down in Ocean City, New Jersey, where I am, and they're going to need a down payment. So what do we do? Do we panic and sell stocks when they're down? No, we took some money out of the bond market, which is an all-time record high, and you know we're able to you know meet that need. And we don't have to worry about, uh, you know, timing the market or worrying about, you know, the coronavirus. You know, we just stay focused on the plan, rebalance the portfolio over time and help everybody to achieve their goals. Yeah. Focus on that cash flow. It's all about cash flow. And if you're thinking to yourself right now, I need a real income plan for retirement. I need a plan that's based on my goals, not the latest financial propaganda. And there's always a lot of it. Here's your shot to do it. If you're one of the next six callers, we have six slots left and you have over $500,000 saved for retirement, myself and Bob will run for you our total financial master plan. And we're going to do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review where we look at the big picture your big financial picture, all you need to do is bring in those statements. They might already be in for February. Bring them in the office. We're going to take all that data. We're going to take every investment you own, and we're going to build for you your own personalized financial portal so you can see your entire net worth in one place. And then we can start to look at all those critical components, make those pro moves that we always talk about. Everything from income. Yes, income is much more reliable than the ups and downs of the market. Whether the market's up or down because of the coronavirus, you need to create a reliable income stream that you can live off of in retirement. We're going to show you how to optimize the income on your portfolio, build you an income stream for life. We're going to talk about diversification. Again, no matter if the market's up or down, what hidden risks you have in your portfolio? Did your portfolio get hit hard last week when the market went down? Where are the hidden risks in your portfolio? Bob and I are going to uncover all the risks, show you how to bulletproof your portfolio for retirement, and we're going to look at fees and taxes. Yes, there's a lot of hidden costs in those portfolios. Those brokerage products, the big firms like to sell you everything from annuities, insurance products, mutual funds, structured products, wherever they are. We're going to show you where all the hidden costs are, show you how to reduce that cost. 
and optimize your portfolio for taxes so there's more money in your pocket for retirement. We're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan utilizing strategies now our family has literally worked on for over 45 years. Take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. Hey, don't miss out. All you have to do is text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or simply just call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. If you're one of our next six callers, you've saved over 500000 for your retirement. Ryan and I will create for you your own total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation. There's no cost. There's no strings attached. But there's no plan. Let's call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or you just call, you know, 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-P-L-A-N-N-Y-C. Hey, this is Bob. I'm hanging out with my son, Rye, and we're the pains of no pain, no gain. Financial Radio. <laughs> It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, no pain, no gain financial radio. And of course, that's P-A-Y-N-E. And as you know by now, Bob and I are very simple men. And that's why we try to keep it as simple and uncomplex for you. And that's why we put together our latest guide on taxes. We give you five ways to save on taxes this year and give you the rundown on the new Secure Act. There's a lot of ways to optimize your portfolio for taxes. We show you five ways to do it, especially with tax time around the corner. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish, that's bullish, B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. Text the word bullish to 555-888. We give you ways to save on taxes this year and give you the rundown of the new SECURE Act. It's the newest act passed by Congress that gives you new ways to save on taxes. You still have time before April 15th to optimize your portfolio for taxes. We give you five ways to do it. Simply text the word bullish to 555 888-888. 888. That's the word bullish. 555-888. And if you want to learn more about myself and Bob, you can check us out on the World Wide Web. Simply go to bebullish.com. That's bebullish.com. And yes, you can subscribe to the show. You can get the show in podcast form, listen to old episodes of the show, and learn more about our firm, Paying Capital Management. And yes, Bob's hair is real, but you need to check it out for yourself. Go to BeBullish.com. That's BeBullish.com. You can catch myself and other advisors at Payne Capital Management every week on all the major networks, everything from CNBC, Fox Business, Yahoo Finance, talking about our latest thoughts on the economy and the markets. And if you ever have a question for myself or Bob, you can always email us directly. Simply email us at questions at bebullish.com. That's questions at bebullish.com. Bob and I will answer all your questions directly. And if it's a really good question, we answer it right here on the show. And like every week, we got some pretty good questions. So to help with questions today, we have Dan Irving, our man in the studio. Dan, what's shaking today, brother? Hello, Ryan and Bob. I want to wish everyone out there a happy leap year. Hey, happy leap year. Happy leap year. You know, oh, leap year. How about that? I forgot about it. Thanks, Dan. You know, I've been thinking with uh, leap years happening only every four years, some of our listeners out there who were born on February 29th, they're planning for retirement, but they've only celebrated like 16 birthdays or so. <laughs> you know, Ron, well, one of my uh, New Year's resolutions this year was to give up drinking on uh, February 30th and 31st. So that's good news. <laughs> Wow, Bob. Discipline. That should be easy to stick to. (laughs) All right. We got some great questions in the mailbag today. Our first question is from Jen in Madison, New Jersey. Jen says, Bob, I am getting very concerned about the coronavirus. I believe this could have a larger impact on the markets than has been anticipated. I think it might make sense to go to cash and wait it out. What do you think? Wow. What a great question, Dan. You know, Hey, Ra, you know, Jen is writing in just about what we were talking about for most of the day about concern about the coronavirus. And I don't blame her. Right. We know why, you know, the media, you know, these charlatans are out there promoting fear, you know, and drowning out all the common sense people. But, you know, even if Jen's right, right, even if this thing is worse than she anticipates, why is going to cash such a bad idea? Well, you know, we have a famous saying, Bob, cash is trash. And the reason it's trash is you earn nothing and it's worse than ever because interest rates keep coming down, which is great. Like we talked about before, if you're refinancing your mortgage, uh, you can borrow at a great rate. But if you're in a money market fund right now, earning one, one and a half percent, you still have to pay taxes on that. And you're losing against inflation, which has been closer to 2%. So it's, it's a losing game, period. 
Yeah. Meanwhile, it's not just, you know, stock market's not the only game in town, right? The bond market's making all time record highs. So if you have a balanced portfolio, you have, you know, one going up while the other's going down like a seesaw, you know, in the, in the playground. Not that uh, the bond market move is, is going to wipe out the losses that you had in stocks this week. But, you know, it's all about balance. And, you know, how many corrects? I mean, short term corrections, right? Aren't they normal in the market? I mean, how many of those have we've had in your career? I mean, more than I can count, but even last year, we had two 6% corrections, which we probably forget about now because our memories when it comes to the market is very, very short. The other thing you think about too, is we talked about this in the last segment, is what about the cash flow you're getting right now? Do you want to sell investments that are paying you a great amount of cash flow to go to cash where it's paying you almost nothing? It's like if you have these great real estate properties that maybe it's not the best time to sell them because the market's a little bit weak, but you know in a couple of years, it's going to be a hot place to be. Why not just keep collecting that rental income off your portfolio? It makes too much sense. Yeah, right. You're always the dean of common sense, right? I mean, when you have a well-diversified <laughs> portfolio of stocks and bonds, you make money every day. Everybody forgets about that. Every day you're earning interest. Every day you're accruing dividends. You get paid while you're waiting. You know, what's, what's such a, that's not a bad deal to get paid while you wait. No, I think the moral of the story here is, Jen... Cash is never a good solution unless you need some emergency money, which you should have. But other than that, always cash is trash. It's never a good solution for your long-term portfolio. Hey, Ryan, can I just get one more plug in here for, for Bobism? Oh, please. The world doesn't end very often. <laughs> the best Bobism. <laughs> well, thank you, Jen, for writing in. Our next question is from Peter in Huntington, Long Island. Peter says, Ryan... I need to make a decision on my wife and I's long-term care policies. They are raising rates up to 150% over the next five years or so. Is it worth keeping the policy? I'm going to say, and I don't even know anything about the policy, but I'm going to say a blanketed yes, because odds are if the insurance company is increasing your premium that much, that means they mispriced it completely to begin with. And even with a 150% increase, I'm willing to bet that's still a way better deal than a new long-term care policy you could get in the open market today. You know, right? That's what happens. You know, when you're dealing with the insurance company, insurance company is one that usually wins, right? So they got this stuff figured <laughs> out. They got actuaries coming out the gazoo. They're figuring out ways that they're going to win and you're going to lose. But, you know, you're right. I mean, it's sometimes if, when you get to an older age, trying to get new insurance can be very expensive. And especially when it comes to long-term care, because insurance companies actually completely mispriced that back in the day. It was actually a great deal. Now, if they get a new policy today, uh, is not as good a deal because the insurance companies got a lot smarter. So if you're thinking about insur- self-insuring or getting a policy now, it's not as easy a decision. But if you got one of those old policies, I'm willing to bet that the uh, premium is still relatively cheap versus what you get on a new policy and the coverage is pretty good. But you still have to run the numbers. But when you're getting that kind of increase in premium, a lot of times, believe it or not, it's still a good deal. Good place. You know, that's such a great point, you know, and Peter's spot on because that's something where you really do lack planning on, you know, living longer, you know, healthcare expenses. You know, when you're sitting here doing straight line analysis, you know, managing your own financial plan, you don't think about these things. And that's why inflation, healthcare costs, you know, living longer. You know, the genetic research is being done. It's going to keep us living longer. You know, baby boomers, we're never going to die, which is great news. We're going to live forever. You know, <laughs> Kudos to you, Bob. You really have to plan for it, right? You have to plan for these, right? So, all right, let me ask you a question. On a scale of one to 10, in terms of being financially organized, what would you give Jen and Peter? Uh, I have to say, Jen, you got a long way to go. You're getting a hard two. Peter, I mean, at least you're asking the right questions, but you both need planning. So, if I give them let's say an average out score, I'm going to give them three and a half. They got a long way to go, Bob. Well, let me ask all of you a question on a scale of one to 10 in terms of being financially organized right now. What do you think my son Ryan would give you? Better yet, you know, let's take somebody who knows you even, even better, your spouse. What would your spouse give you and your family on, on a scale of one to 10 in terms of being financially organized? Well, hopefully you're a 10. And if you're not, why wouldn't you want to be? And here's your opportunity. If you're one of our next four callers, you've saved over 500,000 for your retirement. You know, Ryan and I will sit down with you and create your own 360 financial portal. This is a financial GPS, just like the one you have in your car and your truck that will tell you where you are financially and map out where you're going. And here's the, here's the key. And it'll report daily on the progress of your journey to financial independence. It will define your financial timeline and the best, most efficient route to achieve all of your financial goals. It'll put your financial life on autopilot 
and help you to avoid those financial potholes and dead ends of the typical cookie cutter plan. It'll track and update your net worth daily in real time. And this way you'll always know where you are and more importantly, know exactly where you're going, net of inflation and net of taxes. In addition, take all those statements that, that are coming in from February, the ones you have in January, stick them in a shopping bag, put them in a folder. You don't even have to open them. We're going to break down all that information to be certain you don't have a collection of investments that are getting destroyed by the coronavirus. We want to be certain that you have a portfolio with the three key elements of a successful portfolio strategy, and that would be diversification, income, and cost. We all want to be diversified. Now, you found out this week, if you were truly diversified, if your portfolio went down, then what they're reporting on the news. If you don't have a balanced approach, guess what? You need to get there now. We got to look at costs. You know, Rye talks about hidden costs all the time. Well, we have x-ray vision. We can see those costs. We know exactly where all the bodies are buried. We're going to tell you how to reduce those costs, increase your return. And most importantly, we're going to look at income. You know, in retirement, you need income. If you're suddenly not getting a paycheck from your company, you got to have that dependable, repeatable income because you can't buy lunch with relative performance. You need that paycheck that comes from income, not from your you know day-to-day -day working. And if you're retired right now, hey, your goal is to stay that way. And all that has to do is come up with a dependable, repeatable net of inflation income stream, which we can help you out with. And lastly, we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan where we'll answer that age old question. Are you and your family going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you utilizing strategies that my family's been perfecting now for over four decades? Can you believe it? For 45 years, we've been helping families just like yours get from your financial point A to your B, your goals, your dreams, your values with the least amount of risk and only the certainty that a fiduciary like paying capital management can provide. So don't waste time. We literally have four slots left if you have over $500,000 saved for retirement at 844-752-6692. Call or text at 844-752-6692. Here's your shot to get that second opinion. Wouldn't it be nice to know if you really are on track at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Don't waste time. Give us a call or text at 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-752-6692. This is no pain, no gain. Financial Radio. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, no pain, no gain financial radio. And of course, that's P-A-Y-N-E, just like the Eagles theme song. And Bob and I want to make sure that you have the most common sense advice every week. That's why we put together our latest tax guide. We give you five ways to save on taxes this year in 2020. And also the highlights from the new Secure Act. There's a lot of new modifications to tax benefits you have this year that you can take advantage of. We give you all the highlights of that as well. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. We give you five ways to save on taxes this year in 2020. Some things you can do before the 15th of April. Also, we give you all the highlights from the new Secure Act. So you're up to speed this year for taxes, money saved in taxes. Just as green as any money can make invested, you can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish, B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. And now we have a very special guest on the show. I can't, almost didn't get it out correctly. We got Bob's son, my brother, financial advisor, pain capital management, and arguably the most handsome pain. But again, keyword there is arguably Chris Payne. How you doing, Chris? Right. I never heard anybody argue about whether I'm the most handsome pain or not. Hands down, it's true. <laughs> Chris, you know, you have a great ability to delude yourself. And I think that's what I admire about you the most. Only second to yours, brother. <laughs> Touche. So Chris, what do you think? So we changed the name of the show to All Pain, Lots of Gain, or we got to come up with a new name now? Well, I like All Pain, Lots of Gain, but I still like No Pain, yeah. No Gain because you can't make the games without us. <laughs> all right. Ooh. That's good. That, that includes Witty us all. Today. Well, <laughs> yeah. this is our spotlight segment. This is where we take a real case and we break it down and we talk about how we help a certain person or couple get on their path to financial freedom. Chris, and you worked with a couple recently. Why don't you talk about the case you worked on and how you helped this couple basically pave their way for retirement? Yeah. You know what? I'm going to kind of flip the script a little bit today and talk more about the planning side and just uncover some things that uh, I found 
very shocking actually. And, and one of the things I found right off the bat as we were sitting down, one, they, they thought that they would never be able to retire. So the fact that we were able to sit down with them and go through, you know, all the money that they'd saved over the last 20, 30 years and just sit there and say, look, you know, if you work, you know, at least for the next five years, you're going to be able to retire and then some. For them, that was just like a total eureka moment. Like they were so, they were just so thrilled. Like the smile. I mean, I, I wish I could have taken a picture just to show you the smile on their faces, just knowing the fact that, you know, without really having any guidance and just blindly saving, they were able to get to that point. So I think going into it, they thought that they weren't able to, but having the knowledge that they were able to is really just a big thing for them. That was the first thing. Yeah, and I think that's a lot that's of times a horrible feeling, Chris. Don't you think? I mean, if you're sitting there not knowing, not thinking that you can ever retire, so you're saving more than you have to, you're probably cutting back on lifestyle. You're probably not taking any vacations. You know, it's just it's just a bad place to be, and it's it's so simple when you can just put shine a light of day on it, right? With it with a good financial plan to see that they were in great shape, and it's what we find every time. It's like people take more risk than necessary simply because they never asked. Yeah. And the other thing is, I mean, how many of us just procrastinate on doing the financial plan because we're just so scared to find out that we're not going to be able to retire. And usually when you walk in our office, we run the numbers, you're probably in pretty good shape. But to Bob's point, it comes down to you're probably not invested correctly, but the savings part of it, you got covered. Yeah, yeah absolutely. That, that, that's, you know, that's a great point, Chris. You know, your grandmother never went to the doctor because she was afraid she might find out she was sick. So, you know, it's the same thing. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, it's just, uh, it, it's people that walk into our office sometimes, sometimes they're not in the greatest shape off the bat, but, you know, give it a couple of years of just good financial planning, a solid investment plan, a solid savings plan. And before you know it, that projection just starts to look better and better. So what well, did you it's, find? A, it's a little things, right, Chris, the baby steps, making sure that you're saving properly, making sure you're not paying any unnecessary taxes. It's all those little things, you know, put that little Chris Payne shine on that strategy and it makes a big difference. Exactly. And you know, to that point, Dad, here's the thing that was the most telling to me. As we were going through everything, one of the people that I met was actually a teacher and she worked for the local school district. And one of the questions I asked right off the bat, I said, I see, I said to her husband, I see you're saving into your 401k. I said, but I noticed that you're not saving into your 403b. And she says to me, well, well Chris, what's a 403b? I said, a 403b is just like a 401k. I said, most school districts offer it. I said, does yours offer a 403B? She said, I have no idea. Nobody's ever come to talk to me about it. So on the second meeting, which was just this past Monday, she said to me, hey, Chris, I found out I'm in fact eligible to contribute to my 403B. Can you help me get that set up? I said, yeah, absolutely. And that, you know, that kind of blew my mind, just the fact that these programs are available to pretty much anybody that has a full-time job, but nobody's taking advantage of it. Nobody's educating them on the fact that they have that. It's amazing. I mean, that could have been two, three hundred percent return over the last 10 years, just simply putting money in like clockwork. And, you know, when it comes out of your paycheck, you never miss it. And that's the other thing. So people really don't realize that they could be saving and, you know, securing their retirement without really having to do much difference in terms of lifestyle. Yeah. And Chris, you mean, talk to me a little bit about the way they actually had their money invested. Because first off, it's you want to know, okay, Am I on track for retirement? I'm not on track for retirement. Then it comes down to how do I invest the money to make sure I get to my goals and I can live my life with financial independence, basically. Well, yeah, right. That's that's kind of where the big but is. Everything looks great, but. And one <laughs> of the things I noticed right off the bat, just like 99% of the people that walk through our door is that they're taking way too much risk. Almost 100% of their money is invested in stock. Yep. 50 to 60% of that is invested in large cap stocks. So you know, had the market pulled back like it did back in 2008, they would have been down close to 50%. Ouch. And yeah. And the crazy part about it was, is that they actually knew it. Really? But what was the reason for not making the change? Because you know, in the back of your mind, market's going up and up and up. I got right. killed in 2008. And I know based on how I'm allocated today, that could happen again. What do you think? It was just emotional or what was the rationale there? Well, I, I think I think partly emotional and, and partly kind of what dad talked about is that procrastinating about your plan, procrastinating about making changes. You know, I, they said to me, look, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. And we haven't done it. That's why we called you. So just sitting there and going through with them through the whole portfolio, actually showing them saying, okay, you know, you're taking this risk. Now it's time to start making some changes. And they were totally in agreement. You know, they're, I think they were kind of relieved the fact that they had somebody there to hold their hand to say, this is what we're going to do. Here's the plan. You know, Chris, you're so right. I mean, you see this all the time. People get, they get these statements that come in. They don't feel like going through it. I mean, they work hard all day. 
you know, they're dealing with other problems that come in. And, you know, who after dinner says, come on, honey, let's go through our financial plan. Let's go through our net worth statement. Let's go. Let's look at our <laughs> budget. It's like it's so much easier just to have you do it. And just to make sure, plus have an expert where, you know, you have two people sitting at the kitchen table going, how's it look? Pretty good. What do you think? Pretty good. Uh, what do we know? Nothing. Right. So it's just so good to have a professional take a look and show them in writing that they make a few small changes and they're set for life. Yeah, Chris, I have to say another, as Bob likes to say, financial masterpiece. Great job on this. And it really comes down to it, to Bob's point, just like put some light on the situation. Know where you stand right now. It's much more therapeutic and it's better to know than not to know. And if you're thinking, I need a plan like this, I want to know where I am on my path to financial freedom, we still have two slots left. If you give us a call or text right now, myself, Bob, and Chris Payne, all Payne, will run for you our total financial master plan. We'll do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review just like this. You just need to bring your statements in, bring them in the office. We're going to take all that information from all your different investments and we're going to build you your own personalized financial portal where we can look at your entire net worth at a bird's eye view. And same thing, just look at all those critical components. We're doing everything from income. Do you have an income plan for retirement? How are you going to draw from your portfolio? We're going to show you how to optimize the income on your portfolio so we can create a stream of income that you cannot live, fill in that income gap for retirement. We're going to look at diversification. What hidden risks do you have in your portfolio? Did you get rocked back in 2008? Do you want to repeat that? I don't think you do. We're going to show you how to bulletproof or protect your portfolio so there's no big surprises when you retire. <laughs> and we're going to look at fees and taxes. Yes, there's a lot of hidden costs in your portfolio you don't know you're paying. And a lot of those brokerage houses like to sell those mutual funds, annuities, insurance products. What hidden costs do you have in your portfolio? We're going to point it out, show you how to reduce costs and then optimize your portfolio for taxes so there's more money in your pocket for retirement. Then we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan to determine the most critical question. Are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you utilizing strategies now our family has literally worked on for over 45 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success? Hey, don't miss out. We only have two spots left. All you have to do is text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Six six nine two, or you can just simply pick up the phone and call eight four four Plan N Y C. That's eight four four P L A N N Y C. If you're one of our next two callers, you've saved over five hundred thousand for your retirement. We will create for you your own total financial masterpiece. Now, there's no obligation, there's no cost, there's no strings attached, but there's no plan unless you text or call eight four four seven five two six six nine two. That's eight four four seven five two. 6692 or simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. Another great show, Chris. Great to have you today on this all pain, no pain, no gain. Have a great weekend. And as always, be bullish.